Thank you, Ambassador Carson. My name is uh, Ajong Bamda, and I'm managing editor of uh, the online monthly magazine Pan African Visions. Um, there has been a lot of uh, violence in the build up to elections in Nigeria. Is the U.S. government concerned that the post election violence might attain even a larger scale? And is there anything that it is doing to help the Nigerian government uh, contain, the ele- contain the violence if it uh, spirals out of control? And uh, second question. Uh, accounts of uh, former Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak have reportedly been frozen in Europe, and uh, the U.S. government has frozen those of uh, Libya in the United States. Is it possible that uh, the government of the uh, U.S. Um, could use uh, the freezing of such assets as a, a tool to fight, uh, you know, dictators uh, in the continent? Thank you. Okay, thank you uh, very much for those uh, questions. We are watching very closely uh, the uh, the uh, the potential for uh, violence uh, in the run-up to the Nigerian elections. Uh, and uh, we right now uh, have seen, uh, regrettably, uh, too much uh, violence, uh, even though the level of violence in the run-up uh, to the 2011 elections are not nearly uh, as serious as it was in, 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 in 2007. Uh, but we know uh, that uh, almost uh, all uh, elections, uh, all elections in, in, in Nigeria, uh, have uh, had some uh, level of violence, and we call uh, on the uh, authorities, uh, the security authorities, primarily the police, to do uh, everything they possibly can to ensure uh, the safety of polling places and voters uh, on election day. Uh, and that uh, there not be uh, any violence uh, associated with the right of people to cast their elections. We also uh, do not uh, want to see violence carried out uh, against uh, any uh, candidates uh, in any regions and and call on the security authorities to uh, do everything they possibly can uh, to ensure that uh, no candidate uh, is subject to harassment, intimidation, or political uh, you know, violence. This is this is absolutely uh, this is absolutely clear. clear. Uh, you know, we hold uh, you know hundreds of elections uh, in the United States, uh, and uh, there's almost uh, no violence associated with it. It should not be uh, associated with uh, elections in uh, Nigeria. We know, however, that there are. Uh, areas of the country uh, where there is instability uh, in uh, the Niger Delta, uh, in Jos, and in uh, pockets in the north. And we hope the government will exercise uh, special care uh, and uh, caution uh, in the management of elections there to ensure that the violence uh, that is ongoing as a result of those local issues does not, in fact, impact on the ability of people to cast votes for the leaders they uh, they support in the political parties and institutions that they uh, they uh, they support, um, uh, the, um, the use of asset freezes. Uh, the United States government uh, has uh, employed uh, asset freezes uh, in certain cases when we think uh, they are uh, merited. Uh, the uh, we have not uh, 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 and we, and where they have been merited. I think of the case of uh, of Zimbabwe, uh, where uh, the uh, United States government has indeed uh, employed uh, uh, targeted uh, sanctions against uh, Robert Mugabe uh, and many of the close uh, members of his ZANU PF party. Uh, because uh, of uh, their uh, efforts to uh, manipulate uh, the uh, elections uh, for parliament uh, and the presidency there uh, two years ago. So we do uh, employ uh, sanctions uh, against uh, individuals, uh, both visa and financial sanctions, if we think they are warranted and we think that uh, leaders have uh, stolen, uh, stolen elections. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. You've said much on Nigeria, so let me focus on Côte d'Ivoire. There's been a lot of concern that UNOSI might not have the capacity to intervene effectively 
to stop the civil war in Côte d'Ivoire and ensure adequate protection should mass violence and ethnic cleansing break out. And in the light of this, the Security Council has been called upon, there have been calls for the Security Council to authorize an ECOWAS-led mission to take all necessary measures to ensure the protection of the Ivorian people. But the recourse to ECOWAS use of force was not captured in the draft resolution that Nigeria and France circulated on 5A that is still being discussed at the UN. And we want to ask, will the U.S. support a possible use of force, legitimate force, to get Bagbo out of office since you have not hidden your intention to see him go? Uh, let me uh, thank you very much for uh, that question. Uh, first of all, uh, UNOSI uh, has uh, approximately 10,000 uh, soldiers uh, on the ground uh, in the uh, Ivory Coast. Uh, and those uh, 10,000 uh, soldiers have uh, an enormous uh, capacity uh, to be able to uh, aggressively uh, intervene uh, to protect uh, Ivorian citizens and to protect uh, those uh, political leaders uh, who uh, have been denied their right to take uh, office. The UN Security Council resolution that is being debated today uh, and has been debated over the last uh, several days, in fact, uh, clearly uh, uh, in encourages uh, and urges uh, UNOSI to be more assertive uh, in the protection of innocent Ivorian uh, citizens. Uh, we think uh, that UNOSI. Uh, should uh, and can uh, do better, uh, and we hope that this uh, Security Council resolution uh, will help uh, to incentivize them uh, to uh, do more. Uh, they should uh, not uh, stand by uh, quietly uh, as uh, men and, and women uh, and children who are innocently participating in uh, marches and demonstrations are killed, uh, and they should not, uh, in fact, be intimidated uh, by uh, the uh, Jeune Patriot who are manning uh, illegal roadblocks uh, on, on the on the street. Uh, yes, uh, they have uh, more capacity uh, than uh, and uh, an ability than they are utilizing now, and I hope the resolution uh, encourages this. The United States. Uh, believes that uh, the decision uh, on uh, the use of legitimate force there uh, is one uh, that uh, should uh, be uh, first uh, embraced and, and adopted by uh, ECOWAS uh, and uh, only uh, when it is the uh, consensus of the, uh, of, the, of the UN Security Council uh, should uh, we uh, be uh, uh, should we uh, engage on it? Uh, but it is uh, it is something that uh, is, uh, is is something that uh, the decision on on whether ECOWAS uh, decides uh, to uh, set up a stabilization force uh, is a decision for uh, ECOWAS to uh, undertake. Uh, it is not uh, a decision uh, for the United States uh, to suggest uh, or imply. Uh, or to encourage. Uh, it is an ECOWAS decision, uh, and uh, the decision uh, rests with them. Uh, the issues uh, of uh, legitimate force uh, should be uh, taken as a part of a broader international consensus in, in, in New York.